Hello Taurus, welcome to Soul Vibe In with Carrie, back again with another tarot card reading here for you, all about your career and money life, baby. So if you are interested, please keep watching. I will be pulling out lots of wonderful cards, starting with your tarot and followed by some oracle cards to back your reading up. Okay, today's spread is going to be a little different since you know I like to switch things up, Taurus, but um, the first card, I mean the first card, the first reading I did with um Aries was absolutely beautiful I hope you get nothing but good energy here as well Taurus so let's go ahead and see I need your past energy Taurus so past energy please I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle until I feel like it's time to pull the cards out so Taurus um sun moon rising Venus past energy career life Taurus sun moon rising Venus career life please all right i'll go ahead and take that card for sure taurus past energy now can i get a present energy for taurus sun moon rising venus you can watch from your rising or sun sign of course but if you want to watch from your moon sign that's okay too so taurus sun moon rising venus career life present please present present energy for taurus can i get advice from spirit for taurus Advice from Spirit on this current situation. Money life, please. Money life, career life. Taurus, please. Advice from Spirit. All right, so guess what? I'm going to take that one. Good. <clears throat> okay. Career life, please, for Taurus. Career life for Taurus. Career life for Taurus. This is an affirmation card. I will read it for you at the end. Affirmation. I'm going to take this one here. I'll set it there for now. <coughs> All right. Let me pull out your... So these are my little sticks of balance to see if there's anything that comes through that can bring you a little bit more balance in your current situation. I'll read those at the end. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and set them down here. Two, three. All right, Taurus. So these are my cosmic guidance from the universe. What's affecting Taurus at the moment? Can we please get a card for what's affecting Taurus at the moment? Career life, please, for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Sun, moon, rising Venus for Taurus. Career life affecting. So this next one is going to be solutions or advice from the universe. Solutions or advice from the universe. Solutions or advice from the universe, please. Dun, 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 dun. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Advice from the universe, please. Four solutions. All right. Taurus, I will be pulling out... <laughs> I will be pulling out this Oracle Light. Um, Oracle Light. <laughs> what are these called? Oh, yeah. Work Your Light Oracle Cards. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, to see what it is you're currently doing or up to. Oh, that one popped out. Well, there's two that popped out. I'll go ahead and take both of these for you, okay? Taurus, and I'll pull out. These are very powerful cards, you guys. I'm only going to pull out one card. They're astrology cards. So they're going to tell me a little bit more information on your current situation and what's around you or just maybe further advice for you, okay? So I get these. I got how many? How many are these? Two? That's fine. I'll take those two for you. Taurus. One more card. This is an inspired life um, pop out cards or pop up, pop open. What are they? Pop open. They've never been open, Taurus. So this is a special message for you. Let's hope it resonates here. Okay. I kind of opened it right now, but there we go. All right. So let's go ahead and get straight into your reading, Taurus. <clears throat> excuse me Taurus tarot past energy we get the queen of swords so I saw that one pop out um one of the times that it fell out so I guess I really wanted to come out right so that's your past energy present energy is the eight of swords okay 
And then the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so very interesting energy here, Taurus. Um, I see that some of you work in communications. Besides that, though, Taurus, I'm seeing... <laughs> Okay, so I'm seeing something a little bit um, <clears throat> almost shady. Okay, um, mainly what I do want to let you know based on all these cards I received is that you guys need to be very careful about who you're trusting or who you are having manage your money. If that's the case, like if you're a business owner or a, um, a manager of some kind or I'm seeing a manager authority figure here in the past who might be a little bit um on the mean side mean to take it lightly uh, maybe even malicious or somebody who's communicating something to you or giving you advice in some type of way but i feel like this advice was probably not the best advice they gave you this may just be for some of you right take take what resonates leave what doesn't but the past energy is the queen of swords in reversed as you can see here so with the Queen of Swords in reverse, I see um, somebody maybe older than you or somebody older who gave you maybe bad advice um, within the career or within your career or within your job or maybe this is a boss of some kind who's just not very nice to you. Uh, maybe it's a boss that's spreading rumors about you for some of you because um, a Swords could swords is all about communication taurus so this can also be like bad gossip because we get the eight of swords here okay with the eight of swords i can i can sense that maybe you feel a little bit stressed or like you can't go anywhere maybe this boss or our um authority figure um in your job or whatever it is you do is kind of just um almost like um I just want to say mean, but I feel like it's way more than mean, Taurus. This is just for some of you. Of course, I'm going to get more in detail here. So if you feel like this isn't resonating, just give me a few minutes. But um, what I do see here, Taurus, is that, you know, you really need to take a look at where you're at at the moment, okay? And to see if there's any way you can um, get out of your current situation or just take a different path, okay? If you are feeling this type of way within your um, finances or career. I do see um, that you maybe are just struggling a bit because maybe, you know, um, Christmas and all this, you know, holiday season just passed. You made it maybe overspent a little bit. Um, but what I do see here is around this time, Taurus, be very careful of who you trust, especially if you're a business owner with the nine of pentacles I see here. Um, be careful of who you trust. Really check your, um, check your, not, I don't know if I want to say savings or, you know, your interests or, um, whoever you're dealing with. There's some, someone around you guys, or of course this is a general reading to you guys. So take what resonates. Um, but I, I do see some somebody around here who's not doing their job or their mm, dealings very fairly. Okay, let's just put it that way. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles uh, in reverse for your career, um, it can also indicate that you guys are just overworked for some of you guys. Okay, for some of you guys, um, the Spirit is saying you guys are overworked. Maybe it's time for a break or maybe it's just time to... Um, uh, slow down on what it whatever it is you're doing like don't trust um anything that looks kind of sketchy you guys or if somebody comes through on the online and offers you like a get rich quick kind of vibe don't trust it um you should follow your intuition with this one for real but um what i'm getting is just be very careful because this card in the reverse is really what's what's getting to me it's like spirit is really trying to warn you here with all these cards taurus um just be careful of the people you trust around um financial dealings around this time okay that's mainly what i'm getting for your reading but if some of you guys have felt trapped like um you're, you're just not happy i feel like some of you guys are overwhelmed or or you feel like you know you're not very happy at your job okay and it's probably because you're not doing something you truly truly love Taurus okay if that's the case um or maybe some of you guys um are not really working you're staying home because of COVID or you know everybody's different so but I feel like in some type of way you just feel a little bit um you feel like you can't go anywhere maybe some of you guys are stuck at home and um that's maybe you miss work 
<laughs> that's just what I got for some of you. Okay, anyways, moving forward, let's see what this is about. So we get change, a new season of life. Yeah, so like that's what I got. I feel like some of you have like this, um, there's a change, there's been a change in your job or like, like the whole, you know, the whole pandemic has everybody's job all weird. So if you feel like there's been a lot of change within your um, prosperous, like it used to be maybe really prosperous and have a lot of money and now you're feeling a little bit on the lesser side or on the side where you feel kind of constrained within your um, finances, just know um, you need to really look to um, look at um, the bigger picture basically it's like see what you can actually do with what you have or try to look at the brighter side of things things are changing for you for sure though is what I see here Taurus um, gratitude appreciate present blessings so this is the card this is advice and this is what you should do remember this is the solution so you got the what's affecting you is the big change you've been going through and then the this card is, you know, just express gratitude for all the little things you have. And I know that sometimes may sound a little bit um, unfulfilling or like, okay, whatever. I've heard of that before. Like, why are you telling me that? But you know what? If you actually express gratitude for the little things you have and and try to look at the brighter side of things, you guys, that's what you will attract and you will, you will feel much better, I promise. You will feel protected and you will feel safe. But this is something you have to practice on the daily. It's not a one-time thing. You have to keep doing it. Okay, Taurus? Overall, I feel like this is advice for you. So if you feel like it resonates, um, just let me know in the comments down below, okay? If this helped you out. But let's go ahead and see the Work Your Light Oracle. So we get Warrior Woman and the Age of Light. Very interesting. So for some of you, you aren't working where you should be, okay? For some of you, you're being asked, you know, have you answered your deepest calling? Have you, Taurus? That's something you need to ask yourself. Are you doing something you truly love or are you not? And maybe this is why you're feeling like the Eight of Swords, trapped. Um, see, you have so many swords, you can simply set yourself free. Like, I feel like some of you have many options um, that you can do. I feel like some of you can do something within, um, within social media, or maybe it's something that you have been trying to do, but you feel like you can't. Just know that you can. Uh, maybe some of, I got models. For some of you, I, I got I got models and some of you are very beautiful, okay? Because Taurus, I feel like you've shown up as a Nine of Pentacles. And with this card, the main thing that I got is I know it came out in the reverse, Taurus, but hear me out here. I feel like you are very abundant and you're very beautiful, gorgeous, okay? Fine as fuck is what I'm hearing. But what I got is that you are very wealthy, but sometimes you have a hard time seeing that side of you. Okay, start see, start to see things from a different perspective. Start to do something within the online community is what I'm hearing because swords represents uh, communication, social media, stuff like that. So start start somewhere there, okay? Don't feel like you can't do it. And then you get the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. So some of you guys have been preparing yourselves. And it's like you're you're unconscious of this or you are <clears throat> unready just at the moment. But you're about to be ready because there's things changing for you, okay? So be very grateful if you feel like things have been changing for you. And like I feel like some of you maybe are embodying this, this Nine of Pentacles upright energy, okay? If you are, just know... Um, you're on the right path for sure, okay? There's a little bit of things, a little bit of setbacks for you. But I feel like overall, um, you have been, there's something you've been doing for a while that you you should show, you should show people, okay? Especially on, on social media, Taurus. <clears throat> Excuse me? So for your astrology cards, oh my god, I already saw the first card abundance wow okay so jupiter you got jupiter abundance on your side okay and then you also get the north node life's purpose okay so this this you guys what i'm getting from this is that there's something you should be doing and i feel like you know what it is but you feel like you can't for some reason for some of you the energy i'm getting is that you're already kind of doing it because i get the age of light which means you've been training this for lifetimes so i feel like some of you are about to get really lucky and really successful within whatever it is you're going to do or that you are doing okay because you you've been working on 
on yourself and you've been working on um why do I I I got like working out in general but I feel like some of you guys are really beautiful here I don't know why I just keep getting that and then the north node life's purpose um there's something you there's there's a light there's something you came here to do Taurus you know what it is or maybe you don't just yet but I feel like with this change coming and you showing a little bit more gratitude you are going to find out what it is okay so let's go ahead and see what else we get we get bring your full attention to the here and now so enjoy the present moment okay that enjoying the present moment is something that's going to make you feel more abundant in general in all areas of your life not just money okay enjoy a special meal alone without any distractions because i do see a lot of distraction here for some reason okay maybe a lot of people around you or a lot of people who talk um bad that you need to cut out maybe okay make something creative that uplifts others i feel like some of you are really creative and like i said there's something you should be doing like on social media like showing something um yeah i don't i don't i can't quite put my finger on it if i got more clarification from tarot i, I would probably figure it out but right now i'm just going to go with what i have okay so let, this is your inspire inspiration so let's go ahead and see what this is you can you should and if you're brave enough to start you will see what i'm saying like this is not a coincidence you came across this for a reason taurus i feel like some of you are you guys have a special calling and now is the time to do it because you have jupiter working with you okay stop feeling this energy stop feeling this and whatever you're feeling now you feel like you can't do it or like you're not good enough no let that go let that shit go for real like there's something really special you should be doing taurus okay you got your north node which is all about good karma and your life's purpose let me read into that one for you just really quick okay just to get a little bit more clarification on what the life's purpose one is about 41 41 life's purpose for taurus let me see <clears throat> okay so hold on bear with me here you guys okay so wow okay so i didn't know but this associates with the ten of cups these cards are still very new to me i haven't used them very much so i like reading into them plus they have so much meaning behind them literally like a page and a half or something so with life's purpose, it's like the Ten of Cups, which is happy homes, happy family, happy everything. You being fulfilled in all areas of your life, basically. Positive karma rewards the soul's enlargement, being in the right place at the right time. So I feel like some of you are going to come into this energy this year, like where you're just going to be doing something you love or everything is just going to align to you perfectly because the fact that you got Jupiter and North Node here, okay, it's like, wow. And then you, and then it's asking, like, have you answered your deepest calling? If you have, like, this is what you, you are supposed to be doing, okay, for sure. So also, let's go ahead and see really quick. Um, destiny has a place in your situation. Through many life lessons, you are about to arrive at a place for your highest good. Your life is expanding and opportunities pour in swiftly, catching you quite by surprise. This card also represents past life memories and karmic connections. And then you get this, you've been training this for a lifetime. I'm telling you, you guys. So even though some cards came out reversed, and some messages came out reversed. I'm going to take them because I feel like some of you do need that advice where you guys need to be careful of the people around you and the people who you work with and stuff like that because they may be talking bad about you or you may be dealing with someone in your business who's not being um, completely honest. But let me tell you something. Everything happens for a reason. And I feel like at the end of the day, the cards stand this way. Okay. Some of you need to be doing something that has to do with social media or watch out for a message or a few messages or invitations or something from somebody. Even though we don't get a page of swords here, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to take it as something that there's something that's going to come your way here soon. I, I don't know if I want to say, um, 
and this can be any time this year, right? This can be um, by August, by September, eight weeks or eight, eight days. I, I don't know, right? I don't know because I'm not going that deep into it. This can be in 41 days and five days and five months. The point is, is that this year you're going to be doing your life's purpose, Taurus, okay? As long as you allow your blessings to come in and you get out of this mentality where you feel like you can't do it and you start following that little voice in your head that knows and that is confident and that, you know, that wants this abundance to flow in, basically. Okay? Taurus, very beautiful reading. I really hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. Oh, Taurus, as I was cleaning up, I remembered I forgot. So this is the message, your affirmation. I live and work in comfort and ease and beauty, <laughs> okay? My home is a reflection of me, and I choose to make it a wonderful place to live. Now, your home, Taurus, can be your workplace as well because some of us spend more time at work than at home, right? So, Taurus, if you've been feeling overworked or whatever you've been feeling, lately just know you've been divinely guided to this and i hope you found some type of clarity or something that resonated with you okay i'll see you guys next time